in today's class we are going to learn principle of dominance mixed strategy last class we have covered principle of dominance for pure strategy games today let's see how to do for mixed strategy games this is an example for you the following table represents the payoff matrix with respect to player a solve it optimally using dominance property and this is a payoff matrix you are having player a is there strategies are 1 2 and 3 and for player b the strategies are 1 2 3 and 4 so coming to the solution this is a payoff matrix you are having first you have to find whether saddle point is there or not for the given payoff matrix so for that find the row minimum for the first row the minimum value is minus 3 and for the second row it is minus 4 for the third row it is minus 4 and next column maximum for the first column 5 is maximum for the second also 5 for the third column 4 is the maximum value and for the fourth column 5 is maximum value now find the maximum of row minimum that is maximum maximum of row minimum is minus 3 and the minimum of column max that is 4 maximum value is minus 3 and minimax value from the column you have to find minimax value is 4 so you have to compare both. If a payoff matrix is having the saddle point means maximum value will be equal to minimax value. Here in this maximum value is not equal to minimax value. So no saddle point. Okay. Now let us apply principle of dominance and let us find value of the game and probabilities of the players. For that first we are going for the row dominance for row dominance each value of x should be less than or equal to the corresponding values of y for row dominance okay so we know how to find the row dominance how to go for the row dominance for that first you have to find the row total for the first row the total is 9 for the second it is 10 and for the third row it is 0 find the minimum total and check whether this particular row can be removed or not we know how to do that okay so those who do not know this particular thing just try or just go through the principle of dominance which I have discussed in the pure strategy game same way you have to do okay and after row dominance this is a table or this is a payoff matrix which you are getting so the third row has been cancelled has been removed has been ignored okay now coming to the column dominance so after row dominance we have to come for the column dominance so for column dominance this is a condition x value should be greater than or equal to the corresponding y value okay now for column dominance find the column total See, for the first column, the total is 1. For the second, it is 2. For the third, it is 7. And for the fourth, it is 9. From the column total, find the maximum total. Okay. So, here the maximum total is 9. Same way, solve for column dominance. This also we have discussed already. Now, after column dominance and row dominance, this is the payoff matrix you are having. So, for Doing further, you are going with average method. Okay, in the first class, we have discussed that three ways we can find. You can go for the solution. You can reduce the matrix. Okay, so here let us see the average technique. So for finding the average, take any two columns and then compare it with the third column. Okay, now here, we have come we have taken the average of column 1 and 2 
So 5 and minus 3, they are the first values. Okay. So for finding the average, 5 plus minus 3. So 5 minus 3 divided by 2. And that is 1. Okay, 5 minus 3 divided by 2 and that is 1. So you got the first value as 1. And next is minus 4 plus 5. Minus 4 plus 5 divided by 2. Okay, and that is 1 by 2. So the first value is 1 and the next value is 1 by 2. And... Column 3, you are having the values 3 and 4. Okay. Now here, this column is being compared with this column. This is X and this is Y. Okay. So comparing... 3 is compared with 1. So 3 is greater than or equal to. That is, it is greater than 1. So it is okay. And go for the next value. 4 is also greater than 1 by 2. Okay. Now, this particular column can be ignored. If for column 1 and 2, when we have taken the average and if this ignoring process is not working then you have to take the average of 1 and 3 and you have to compare it with 2 or take 2 and 3 and compare it with 1 this is the way how we have to do this okay now this is the matrix you are having and we know this is mixed strategy game and already we have discussed how to find the probability and value for a mixed strategy game. For that, again I will explain. Row augment you have to find. Row augment is 5 minus minus 4. That is 9. 5 minus minus 3. That is 8. So you have to write like this. And here 5 minus minus 4 is 9. This you have to write here. And 5 minus minus 3 is 8. This you have to write here. Okay. So now row augment and column augment. Okay. Now find the probabilities. 9 divided by 9 plus 8. And 8 divided by 9 plus 8. So these are the probabilities. So for column. 8 divided by 8 plus 9. And 9 divided by 8 plus 9. So you got the probabilities for player A and player B. Now, after finding the probabilities, let us find value of the game. Value of the game is 5 into 9 plus minus 4 into 8 divided by 9 plus 8. This is a 9 plus 8. Okay. So, four ways we have seen how to find value of the game. And all the value of the games will be same. This we have discussed in mixed strategy game. How to find the probability and how to find value of the game. Same thing. Here also it is discussed. That is after finding the probability, find the value of the game. You have to take this value into 9 and minus 4 into 8 divided by 9 plus 8 or else you can do minus 3 into 9 plus 5 into 8 divided by 9 plus 8 5 into 8 plus minus 4 into 9 divided by 8 plus 9 or minus 4 into 8 plus 5 into 9 divided by 8 plus 9. So, you will get the value of the game. Here the value of the game is 0 0.76. Then come to the probability of player A. This is the original payoff matrix you are having. So, here column 1 is there. 
and column 2 is there. 3 and 4 we have ignored. Okay. And coming to the row, 1 and 2 is there and 3 have been ignored. So here this is player A and this is player B. Okay. So for player A, 1 is there and 2 is there. So the values are there, 9 by 7, 17 and 8 by 17. And for the third strategy, it is 0. And for player B, column 1 is there and column 2 is there and 3 and 4 has been ignored. So 8 by 17 and 9 by 17 and the other values are zeros. So this is a way how to find value and probability of the players of mixed strategy game using principle of dominance. So in today's class, we have discussed how to find value and probabilities of mixed strategy game using principle of dominance. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.